Hello, I'm Entrilithium. Welcome back. Welcome back to this world mine, where we're playing as a, well, slightly renegade group. Um, who needs to go to bed? A Roman. Roman. I was going to say Ronan? No. Roman needs to go to bed. Arika, you'll be going to bed soon, but not quite yet. Bruno? Is everyone starting to be a bit hungry, so probably got to consider making some food soon. Not knives or crowbars or anything. No. Food. Um, cook stove. Yeah, we've got plenty of stuff. We can make that. And of course it goes in the kitchen, because where else would you put a cook stove? Certainly not in a wooden treehouse. That would be silly. I really want to do that now. I, I don't really want to put anything in the treehouse. It's too far away. It would take people like half an hour to run there. Um, but it would be hilarious just to put the cook stove in there. Put a cook stove, put a bed, just live in there. Never come out. Uh, Arica. Let's look what else we can build. Uh, possibly a filter. Actually, how much water do we have? Twelve. Yeah, we could start, you know, supplying ourselves with water just in case, you know. It could be winter, I doubt it. Uh, the most thing I want to do is sort of get the water ready so we can have moonshine. Um, I could go for moonshine straight away. Yeah? Okay, then we'll do that. Moonshine. Um, can I put it next to the door? No. Why are you so annoying? Why can't I put it there? Or here? Okay, then. I guess it'll be here. Ugh. That doesn't, that doesn't look right. Well, it goes there then. And... Yeah, let's start cooking. Actually, how much would it cost to upgrade? I mean, I probably can't upgrade it. We need, like, five... All the stuff we just used. Uh, oh, well. It only saves fuel. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, we need one fuel. We need two fuel. I'm going to go for two fuel from wood. We've got two wood. And yet, yeah, make a double helping. Mmm, delicious. Okay, can we make this? We need fuel. Of course we do. We could also do with a filter for more water. Stuff to exchange already? Okay. I mean, you know, actually it's day three, so... Sort of the early side. But only just. It's not actually that surprising. Sure, let's have a go talk to him. Have a look at what they brought. Yeah, don't worry, we will. What have you got? Um, weapon components, good. Bullets, we could do with those. Uh, filters, again. What do I have? Got some jewellery. What do I want for that? What do I want for that? Weapon parts. Actually, if I can get all the construction components early on, it saves me a lot of hassle. Definitely want those. Definitely want those, because I'll use those nonetheless. Like, no matter what I say, I will be using those. Now the question is, do I want to give him some basic items? <sighs> like, I only have one of each of those. What is costing so much? Quite common, quite common. Very generous of me. Okay, so let's try getting rid of some wood. Because wood is, you know, more difficult to stack when you're running away. Might do try harder. But yeah, what does he think he's got? I think I will trade away some medicine. The reason for that is, um... Basically, it's it's sort of a very similar vein to most strategy games. The more you can get in the early game of resources, the more you'll snowball. Because small gains at the beginning mean bigger gains later, because they allow you to be more efficient, they allow you to do all this sort of stuff, and, you know, you, you save a lot more stuff. So, I think what we'll do is we'll grab this. I have more! Take a look! Yes. Um, exactly what I need. You need medication. Good. I want to steal filters. Very generous of me, I know. There we go. 
Good deal of stuff. Good deal of stuff. I could do the same with the bandages, but I will need those. Bandages you need for pretty much everything. Which kind of sucks, but... I'm going to leave him standing there for the moment. Um, can we go and put one of those filters in? Make. And we'll start making ourselves... Some booze. Oh, I need to make fuel. And I'd only get one booze out of it. I'll make one fuel for now and put one booze in. Actually, you should be in bed. Go to bed. Roman, you can do that. Bruno. Um, I think the most important part is to feed Arika and Roman since Roman goes crazy if he gets sad and Arika is the one going out at nights currently. So probably the best bet to do those two. Um, I hope we'll manage to keep warm in here. So what's it going to be? You waiting there. I don't think I'll be able to get the moonshine done before the end of the day. I'd love to, but I don't think it's going to happen. I will wait. Because I need to get Arika fed. I probably should have fed her before I sent her to bed. But I'm going to wait because uh, I need Arika to eat. Before she goes out. There's a chance we'll get Moonshine done. It's actually going fairly fast. I think off the top of my head, Moonshine's four hours. Which means we should get it done. But it's going up very fast, actually. Which I'm happy about. Just going to sit it out. Lovely house. Could do a bit of patching up. Do we get cable? Well, we've got tire swing. We don't need anything else. We have tire swing. All is good. Can we use a tire swing to, like, make people happy? Like, who needs, you know, books and guitars? We've got a tire swing. Just, just spend time in the tire swing. Makes everyone feel better. Okay, um... Yeah, they're done with the moonshine. Come on, I haven't got all day. Yes, you do, actually. Surprisingly enough, you do have all day. Because I know the only time you leave is about 8pm. Well, you've got all the daylight. Maybe not all day. Oh, water's done. Grab the moonshine. Are we going to trade the wood? Yeah, we will. Don't worry. Uh, let's make another wood. Let's trade. Now, what can I get off him? Yeah. I can't even get food, so I don't think there's any point. Just basic construction components for now. We'll focus on wood, because it just takes up so many slots. Especially with, you know, 10 carry capacity guys. So we'll take that. We'll bid him a farewell and adieu. Roman. And now we have water. We can make more moonshine. And we can put another filter up here. I will manage to keep warm in here. Yes, we will. Don't worry. Calm down. It's 18 degrees. Actually, it wasn't like 22 the other day, I was saying. Yeah. Temperature's starting to slide away. Well, it is getting towards evening, maybe. Okay. End day. Now, the question is what we're going to do tonight. We could go back to the room block of flats, but we don't actually have a way to get, you know into those rooms. Those rooms are held away by locked bars and stuff. So, you know, the question is, where do we go? We could go to, like, the shelled school. Yeah. There's a load of homeless people there. Problem is, if I go to there and I have to kill the homeless people because I'm playing Renegade, um, that would make everyone's, like, happiness drop really far. Really far. Um, there's a lot of people there. Killing them all would result in everyone, just depression, just, we'd be so, so bad. Supermarket's tempting. Quiet house. Supermarket, a lot of stuff. Quiet house we could go to. We'd have to kill the old couple there, which is going to be, um... Well, I'm going to feel very bad, but... 
you know, we are renegades, so we've got to play it. Um, promise, I don't think they have the parts we need. They don't have enough stuff. We'll try the supermarket, I think. Now, I'm taking Erica because I want her sneaky ability. I don't have a gun, so there's no point really taking Roman. Bruna can sleep. Yeah, that's a good combination. And I will want Noif. Definitely want in a Noif. I want a crowbar. Okay, now I've got to remember not to right-click everywhere, because you know me. I'll be like, I want to get there really quick. Yeah, we'll take all that, we'll take all that, we'll take all that. I could have just gone and grab all, it'd been simpler. Grab that as well. That's a pretty name for such a pretty face. Oh, I know this event. I haven't had this event in ages. Honestly, it's probably one of my favourite events. It's an awful, awful event, like, in terms of reality. But they do handle it fairly well, and, um... I think there's some catharsis to be... At least gained from it. Thank you. Looking for something. If you haven't seen this before, trigger warning. Food, poor girl. I can give you food for a favour. Knife. Just come with me, babe. We'll dine and have some fun. Uh-oh. Get ready. I'm hoping it's a one-hit kill to the back. Oh, God. Come on. Wow. I didn't use the one-hit kill that came up because I was already moving towards him. Hmm. I think that might need to be addressed for a patch or something, possibly. The fact that when I came close, I had the option to backstab, but because she was acting on a previous order, she did the normal stab instead. It seemed a bit unfair. But we got ourselves an assault rifle very early on. And we get to feel like a hero. Because we are. Um, I might dump some stuff in this barrow here so I can come back and uh, grab it. Oh, food, yes. Okay, um... Drop that, drop that. I probably don't need wood. I want the food, though. And I don't know if I'm going to get five parts all in one go. I probably don't need water immediately. I don't need weapon components immediately. I probably have enough wood from what I did last night, so... Well, there we go. A renegade run. The first person we killed was a bad guy. Still, I feel it was a, a, a decent option there. Especially considering he had exactly what we need, an assault rifle. Free assault rifle. Now, we are slightly injured. I'm just hoping that it's not too bad an injury. And yeah, we'll start uh, digging through there. It'll take a while. Now, yeah, while we're doing that, some people have said, oh, why don't you just, you know, when you've got spare time on level, just start collecting stuff and dumping it near the entrance. Um, there's a couple of reasons why I don't do that. Firstly, um, on small levels, it's just not efficient because you have to get your stuff you want, put that somewhere, grab the rest of the stuff, move to the front, dump it there, go back, do it over and over again, and then you go back to collect your own stuff again. Uh, it's not efficient on small levels. On, on larger levels, it's probably more efficient when you've got spare time, especially where there's a, a large distance between you and the rest of the level. You can just bring it back to something close to the start. Maybe like this level, you know, might be a, a medium-sized level, sort of a level where it might actually pay off. But I, I find it really, really boring um, to watch, because it would take you, a, you know, you'd be spending a good five minutes just running around collecting stuff and putting it in a pile. There'd be absolutely no, like, there wouldn't be any decision-making process. There'd be nothing for me to be, like, talking about the decision-making process I'm making. Um, it would be a bit like, you know, watching this rubble being destroyed, but for about five, six times longer. I, I just, I, no, I don't know. I just, it would be fairly boring. It would, it would definitely be efficient on large levels. I'll give you that. It would be more efficient on large levels. But, eh. Come on. I want to crowbar this thing and find what's inside. I'm, like, I'm hoping it's good. Now, the question is, once we've had an event in one place, can we get another event? I think you can only get one event per place. 
So from now on, we can come back here without uh, a weapon in that inventory. But the other event that happens at this place is some other people um, looting it, and they're like, oh, yeah, sure, come and join us. And if that was to happen... Broken shotgun? Okay. Oh, but, yeah. Okay, um... If that was to happen, we'd have to kill them. You know. Fair enough. Pure alcohol. We'll take that. We can trade it. Um, damaged helmet. I can't really do much with that at the moment. Like, I can't repair it. I don't have the facility. So I'm going to leave it need uh, for the moment. But, you know, we'll come back to that, definitely. I would like to uh, have some body armor. The old helmet is a form of body armor. I mean, as opposed to a vest. I know. People are being picky. Got to start considering going back soon. It is too... And, okay. Um, yeah, we'll have a look in one of these. I don't think there's anything else that needs a crowbar on this level. Um, we'll fill that out. I could drop the tradables. There are, like, three things here that I would consider tradable. I'm not gonna, because... As much as I could, knowing the fact that the trader isn't gonna come back today because he came yesterday... Maybe it's a little bit too hedging my bets. Especially if, you know, there are other people who want to scavenger here... Uh, next time they come back. Just in case. I doubt they will be. But just in case. Now, we've got an in full inventory, so we'll just go straight back. Oh, actually, while we're here, yeah, we'll break down this door. Oh, it's barred on the other side. Fine. Not that it really matters. have got an entire shopping mall to loot now. Well, it's not a shopping mall. It is just a supermarket, but still. Eric was back. The Arico who came in from the cold. Day four. Good. <laughs> she comes back from killing a would-be rapist, and what she say? Oh, tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. I saved that girl. Would anyone do the same for one of us, I wonder? No, because we're going to be really, really bad. Um, all right, food will die. We're going to search harder for it. Oh, wait, you didn't get to eat, did you? Yeah, go eat. And you should grab... Did we not grab... Oh, we did, we did, there it is. I'm getting confused. I, I, I think that the uh, the refrigerator should be on the other side. Like, the fridge isn't on that side because that's the normal default position. I was like, why is there no fridge here? Why is there bandages? Why do we get bandages in the... Oh, well, the fridge is over there. I used to be an optimist. We must get some food at all costs. Fine. Who's hungry again? Lazy, good for nothing, hungry people. Uh, Roman, actually, you go straight to bed. Erica? We're lucky it's not cold in here. I hate it when they use that. Really do. You're not lucky. So, my benevolence is your would be leader. Not would be leader, I am your leader. Um, metal workshop, no. No, she's not injured. Oh, good. Yeah, we need the gears. Don't need an extra bed right now. We will soon, but not now. Chair, we have one. Simple heater, we don't need it right now. Radio. They are a little bit useful, but... I don't know, I think there's better things. For, especially for us to be spending our money on, uh, our stuff on, sorry, in the early game. Yeah, I don't need any of that. I need upgrades, really, right now. Especially an upgrade to the cooker to make it more efficient. And we need more parts of that. Basically, we're looking for about ten parts. Five to upgrade the metal, five for this. And I think it'll be another five to upgrade the, uh, the normal workshop as well. So we need a lot of parts. There's one thing that I definitely find myself, um gated by in the early game is parts. Sure, you know, components and stuff are the basic building blocks, and of course when you run out of those, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I've run out of the basic building blocks, but it's just these luxury items, and in the early game, parts really are a luxury item. Those gears can be uh, a tricky, tricky bunch to, to find. Someone's at the door. Hey, I need help. Please open. Okay. Damn, there are no smokes left. Okay. I thought we were like, damn, there's something at the door. Okay, let, let's see. Are you a bad guy? If so, we'll do your job. Save people from collapsing building. 
Uh, a shell hit a tenement down the street and people are buried underneath the rubble. Please help me pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We will organize a makeshift hospital for the wounded at my home. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? Well, I think that's a pretty easy decision. Normally, of course, you'd say yes. We're playing Renegade. Nope. Are you sure you can't help me? Does this answer the question? No. I didn't expect you to turn your back on me. Hi, yeah. We're just gonna get around. Okay. I don't imagine what I'd do if I were buried in tons of rubble from a collapsed building. Are people gonna get sad? I hope not. People aren't sad. Good. Poor people. If I were to choose, I think I'd rather be crushed immediately than suffocate slowly under tons of debris. I think most people choose that, you know, provided it was a guaranteed death. Um. Okay, one person is content, everyone else is normal. That's fine. Erica, we'll rotate you onto the bed as soon as possible. Oh, is it, is it a degree colder than yesterday? So it is getting colder. Of course, the radio would tell us an advance warning about that. That's one thing that the radio is good for. Yeah, there is certainly a, uh, an argument to be made for making the radio early on. I just don't think it pays itself back as well as something like, uh, you know, a decent upgrade. And sleepy times. And I think this is where we can end uh, the episode for today. So, I've been Enter Elysium. This has been This War of Mine, playing as Renegades. And, um, well... I mean, we're not particularly advanced with our house, but now we have an assault rifle. We're certainly doing a lot better than uh, we were beforehand. We can now go and kill everyone. Might be a bit premature to go kill everyone with an assault rifle, but we've got a lot of bullets in the assault rifle. And, you know, damn it, we can feel good about that. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.